Stephanie Indiana, Republican Senator Mike Braun on all of this, this slowly uh, getting America back to work and hopefully back to hot dog eating contests. I don't know if it's a big concern uh, back in Indiana, but it is in this neck of the woods. Um, Senator, always good to have you. Let's talk a little bit about how this reopening is going. I know in your beautiful state, you're on a, a phase three right now. How is this process unwinding as you see it? So, Neil, I think it's uh, emblematic of how it's happening across the country. Uh, Coney Island obviously is going to be different from uh, Main Street America, Indiana. You know, we had a hot spot, 15th uh, metro size city in Indianapolis, had to treat it differently. They've still got different guidelines there. But uh, from what I'm seeing, just the robustness of activity says differently here. We are in a place like uh, most of Indiana, where this is Jasper, Indiana. I'm in my favorite uh, restaurant, uh, Schnitzelbank, uh, reflects our German heritage. Building my business here, we were here often. Ate uh, plate lunches uh, often with my parents, getting uh, fried chicken and either dumplings or uh, dressing. But that is kind of what is reflected here. Uh, price of gas has come back. But everybody's paying attention to the rules. I went out to eat at two other places uh, Friday and Saturday, my wife and I did. Spacing, you know, they're doing everything because they don't want to put their customers, their employees in peril. Never did like the one size fits all approach. It's going to make the kind of rejuvenation of the economy different. Upstate New York was different from New York City. Every county within a state is different. Every state is different in the country. When we debrief this, That'll be, I think, the mistake that we made, but the disease was tricky. You now have got this pediatric inflammatory syndrome. We've got to treat it with respect. I did a couple floor speeches early, Neil, that said the most important part of this saga is going to be how we reopen, and we can't measure some of the economic damage that's already been done because we've been so focused on the disease and we're getting data from it. So. Senator, um, the president has already said, and you alluded to it now, that the governors will make these calls, but he didn't apply the same to uh, opening up places of worship and that if they called to complain him, he's you know, obviously going to give them an earful. But isn't that a little inconsistent? If governors don't think it's a good idea, um, they're not going to let it happen. So what, what do you make of that? Well, I think obviously the president uh, would reflect that kind of entrepreneurial approach to this. I look back at uh, the health care briefing we had with Fauci and some of the others, uh, Steve Hahn from the FDA. I talked about how the CDC kind of fumbled the testing thing. Of course, that's all you hear about. I went to talk to some pharmaceutical CEOs, and they said they didn't have the genome until maybe four months ago, and there's been more flurry and activity, but got to have it accurate. You got to have it quick and yeah. you got to have it affordable. That's all being done. The CDC uh, lost 40 days because they wanted to do it themselves. So I think the president reflects the spirit of the country that we know that we got to do something differently and it's not being hunkered down forever. So. All right. We'll watch it very closely. Uh, Senator Braun, thank you very much. Enjoy the German food. Uh, Senator Mike Braun from the beautiful state of Indiana. Hey.